In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap, the job's a game. Welcome to uh, the Mind Reels episode 10. 10? 10. 10. Back at her, uh, at her stable side on my left is the awesome Sue Maynard. Tis I. Tis you. And across from us this evening, we have the awesome, because we've seen her work, Christine Horn. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we uh, we we've, we've tried to warn her that everything's very informal, very relaxed. Nobody has been scared off yet from any of our interviews. No, I might be the first. <laughs> All right. And we always start with the easy questions. Okay. Which everyone has said is hard. Yeah, which is weird, <laughs> it's, hard it's so easy to ring off, ring them off for me. But then again, we're not actors and stuff, and we're not in the business. So there's all this build up now for this. That's right. Are, are you scared? <laughs> The question is, your favorite movies? My, okay, my favorite movie that I just watched again on New Year's Eve is um, A Star is Born from 1954. Judy Garland. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's my favorite. So now are you like hard. a big musical <laughs> fan or just uh... a... Little, a little bit. I like, I like that one. Have you I seen like the show older... tunes while it's on? I know that I know it all. <laughs> I know that one. I do. I like. I love Funny Girl. Like I like some. Okay. Yeah. I like some musicals. I don't like all of them. But there's definitely some some stuff that I okay. Like, that I like. Singing in the Rain, my favorite musical, bar none. Love. Yeah. Because it's all about the film industry at the same time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Maybe that's why I like the stars more. You don't have one, do you? I don't. I was gonna. I was gonna just go like uh, Grease or something, <laughs> right? But, uh, I don't know. But then I was uh, when you were talking about Stars Born, I was like, oh, Mary Poppins, and I really loved it. Oh yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah. Did you see the, uh, the stage no. adaptation? No, I don't want to see stage adaptations of movies that I love. Okay. I don't really. That makes sense. You don't want to ruin the experience. No. Well, and I, it's also like that's not Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who does she think she is? I know. When I watched, because I grew up with Mary Poppins, and then when I watched um, uh, The Sound of Music, I was like, yeah. her hair's the wrong color. Like, who, what is happening? It totally who screwed me you know? up. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like this. Even though, arguably, she's a much nicer lady than Mary Poppins. <laughs> Yeah. But I, it was, it, I couldn't. She had I her cute little haircut and stuff. I couldn't, I was, stuff, couldn't, it was, I was no, like, it was this wrong. Is, I don't understand. Because I, she was, it was like, what is Mary Poppins doing in these mountains? <laughs> I don't understand. And now I really quite love that movie, but I, it was a hard transition <laughs> as a kid. Awesome. <sighs> yeah. It's true, I had the it's exact hard. same reaction. It's hard. That is not my nanny! <laughs> I probably had like a little crush on Mary Poppins, so I wanted her to be my She's nanny. so great. I wanted the spoonful of sugar. I wanted to go dance on the rooftops and I want jump into chalk with the bird, and, Like the bird yeah. head umbrella. Yes. <laughs> and the carpet, the carpet bag. Like all and the of it, practically all of perfect it. in every way. Yeah, yeah everything. Trips to cartoon lands. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing with penguins. There's she nothing bet. wrong with that. And riding the carousel horses. Chimney sweeps. Yeah. All of it. I gotta watch that movie now. Now yeah, I want to get like two. You, uh, <laughs> you had me at Greece though with Olivia John, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to know you actually have a favorite film because yeah, a couple people have been hemmed and on with us. Like, oh, well, I, don't I think know. some people have so many that it's yeah. hard. Yeah, I have a bunch. I'm but like, <laughs> pick a genre. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My top five in those. Okay, well, what brought you to acting then? How did you get into it? Like, is there a childhood story? Um, did you? It was a bit of a fluke, I think. I, <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I was. I'm from Aurora, and so it's not the most. I feel like uh, most of the people I went to school with, like, everybody has really practical career paths because we're, it's a suburb <laughs> and it's not like, it just, uh, that just happened in suburbs, I think, for the yeah. most part. Um, and uh, I watched a lot of movies as a kid and I think I want, I was applying to a lot of film schools, yeah, actually. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> but I think that the secret thing that I actually wanted to do was be an actor, but I didn't, I hadn't seen anybody go and do that it, from my, like, I didn't know anybody who yeah. went to yeah. school. It, that's not like a that wasn't an unattainable job, but going and being more of a technician is is it's totally a practical. A job. Experience. Yeah, yeah, that made yeah. that I felt like would be would was something that I could actually do. But when I was applying, and I hadn't done high school drama or really? theater, I hadn't done anything. I did plays <laughs> like up until maybe grade four, <laughs> and I did one play in high school, but it was after I'd I'd um, auditioned for for school. But I um I had. Uh, 
when I was applying to film programs, I had like an extra spot on my application oh. to apply to York, and they had a theater program, so I, I applied. But I didn't know anything about the program. It could have been such a bad idea. Like I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it was a good school. I didn't know. I didn't know. Anything. You went to York. Wow. I, I had no idea. And so I, I, I went, and I didn't tell anybody I was auditioning because I was really embarrassed. And uh, I went and auditioned, and I didn't get into. I think my grades weren't high enough to get into like any oh. film program that I applied for. I probably also didn't have, I don't even know what my portfolio would have had to be. <laughs> but I don't think it was even film related, it was like visual arts stuff maybe. Gotcha, yeah. And, um, and, but I got into this theater program, so I was like, well, okay, <laughs> I'm going to this. But so went accepted a program at a school that I still didn't know anything about. like. I had no idea what I was doing. So, um, <laughs> Do you have any brochures? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and I remember both of my first year, like learning more about how the program works. It's like, oh, really? Because you sort of, there's a really general first year, and then yeah. you sort of stream. I didn't know that. So, <laughs> like, eventually, it was like figuring out how how that all, and then I went and did the acting program that I didn't even know existed until I was partway through my first year. So it was all a bit of a, an accident. <laughs> they could have gone horribly, horribly wrong. Terribly wrong. Yeah. That's just the universe taking you by the hand yeah. and sort of guiding you. I think so. <laughs> I, ha I have to think of it that way or it's just like, it's too random. So yeah, that was it. My parents never would have bought that at all. <laughs> Not doing that. Yeah, no, my yeah. parents are pretty awesome because they, I think they just knew, they knew that I was, and it was a university still, so yeah. I was doing, I was getting a degree yeah. and I was taking other classes, but they were really supportive. Considering awesome. I was like the shy kid, they were like, what? Where did this come from? <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. What are you doing? That's brilliant. <laughs> you want a what? Mm-hmm. So, I, I do want to jump ahead. Just a touch. <laughs> All right. But then we're coming back to something because, as we know, she found it. So. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. She already knows I found the commercial. Don't worry. <laughs> no, this is just a cool little thing I noticed. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right. All right. All right. So I want to jump ahead to sure. talk about your first film, uh -huh. Stone Angel. Yeah. Where you got to play a young Ellen Burstyn. Yeah. Um, pressure much yeah. there at all? And did, you, did the two of you get a chance to talk and like mm. to say, okay, this is how I do this, or this is how I do this? Um, not so... Well, we sort of started doing that later in the process. We didn't at first because she started... I think I got there on maybe her second day of shooting. They The way that... The way they shot that was that they did all of her most senior stuff first. Okay. For about two weeks and then she went away and I did most of my stuff and then she came back and did her sort of middle-aged stuff and other stuff that I had to do in the same locations basically. Wow. So because she'd already started it wasn't like we had all this sort of pre-production time to go mm -hmm. what choices should we make here? <laughs> also she's Ellen Burstyn so like yes. <laughs> she's probably gonna make good choices. She's playing the old Christine and I'm just gonna like <laughs> I'm just gonna try my best. So so I I pretty much just sat around. They brought they wanted to bring me for just a week to watch her and then send me home mm -hmm. and bring me back and I sort of said, Can I just stay? A I don't really know what happens on the film set. Like yeah. so uh, and there's an awful lot of pressure. Like that would have been yeah. yeah. So it was it was a lot of uh, it was very scary. So being able to sit there for two weeks and just watch was great. And there was also playing somebody that another actress is kind of establishing was kind of great because it gave me parameters. Like mm -hmm. it actually was yeah. like I can't I don't have all the options in the world. I have to do something that will feasibly grow into yeah. what she's doing. So it was kind of it was just a, a good focus for yeah. for my 24 year old like <laughs> like I don't I graduated two years ago I'm an usher like I don't I don't know <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing when she came back there was a little bit more of talking about it uh, but for the for the most part I, it was me watching what she was doing and sort of picking up what I could of her and taking her the dailies home and watching yeah. stuff and watching every Ellen Burstyn movie I could yeah. watch. Because what's great... I'm going to be her when I grow up. Yeah. yeah. And, and also week. she's like, she's really well documented at she ages really yes. that I needed to play. So yeah. it was kind of great to go, okay, that's how... And we're, we're really different. We're really different. We're really different. We could sort of watch a lot of her, mm -hmm. the work she was doing and the work she has done. 
and then kind of just did my best. Gorgeous little film. If you haven't seen it, see it. I haven't. I read the book at the wrong time in my life, probably. Oh, it's so, so does everybody. It came out. Yeah. So does everybody. I, I think it was required reading for yep. something, grade nine. And you never read it. Neither did I, which I think helped me, because so many people hated yeah. it. And, and I, so don't, I, I don't remember a, hating it. I just remember not feeling good after it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, over. It's, like, not a I real, was, it's a bit of a downer. Yeah. yeah. And but I, I yeah. didn't ever want to revisit that feeling again. <laughs> no. Anytime in my recent well, life. Well, I think so. it's. Yeah. If I'm allowed to say so, I think it's a better book than it is a film because it's so it's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to do it in in you know an hour and a half. So yeah. so it's hard. But for I I didn't read it, so I didn't already have ideas yeah, about because I'm yeah. also so not what Margaret Lawrence was writing like <laughs> at all. I think Ellen is exactly right, and I think I happen to be a good match for Ellen. But mm -hmm. if they started the other way, I'm sure I'm not. No, like I'm not. I'm like a wavy blonde little like slip of a thing, and she was writing like. A, a yeah. prairie girl, yeah. which I'm not. So it's so I didn't have ideas already about what it should be. I could just kind of go. It was Paris Goglin's job to interpret the book, and now yeah. I'm just doing her yeah. her script. Like I have to just not think about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> think about how I'm gonna like disappoint all of Canada if I ruin their national novel. No oh, <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah. It doesn't happen. And then since you've done tons of television, oh, big, yeah. well, television I watch, I've yeah, seen, although yeah. you did 1-800-MISSING. I did, that was my, yeah. yeah, I did it before, I was like a, I think that was my first like TV it's The first one thing. we got for you, yeah. which is funny because we did, uh, we spoke with Casey Collins two weeks ago, or three weeks, two weeks ago, and he did one with Anna Silk, and now they're working together oh, on the last yeah. Yeah. It seems everybody's cutting the I was, like, I was a reception, that. I don't even, I think I had like, a wee little exchange with Vivica A. Fox, but I was a, just a receptionist. And I remember like getting my sides and being like, it's so small. Like, is, like I had no, I didn't know. That was pretty much my film experience before I did the Stone Age. God. Is this it? <laughs> yeah, I was like, look how cute that is. I'm gonna save this. Yeah. But you also did the Dresden Files. Yeah. So right away you're cutting your teeth on science fiction right there. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. because you just did Boreas. Yeah. Yeah. Which, if I read it right, is a space TV. They're, they're talking about it might be a pilot. Yeah, it, we basically shot the first two episodes um, as the pilot, yeah. I suppose. Now, can you give us a little rundown on what it's about? Yeah, yeah. It's set um, in 2045 in the Arctic, and, and the idea is that that's kind of the only place left that still has any resources. And so it's become this kind of. Um, international free trade kind of zone, and so and it's a little bit. It feels a little bit like a western, like people yeah. Somebody of, said it was like dead. Yeah, yeah, totally in the Arctic, where they've sort you of swear come to much? this. There's some. There's for sure some. <laughs> okay. swearing. I think that they. I think they took some out, and then the producers were like, "We pitched this as Deadwood in the Arctic, not gun smoke in the Arctic." <laughs> so swear, like put it back. It feels more like rather than it is. It, it's a little bit, I guess, a little bit science fiction, but it feels more like when Margaret Atwood talks about like speculative fiction. Yep. It feels more like that because yeah. that's totally possible. That, that yeah, it's get. not like way in the future no. either. It's and it's with and the, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's um. So it's yeah, no, if it gets cool. picked up, you know, now because we haven't seen it, I don't think it's aired yet. Anyway. No, I think they're still putting it but, together. Uh, yeah. Is there a chance then that you're going to have a recurring character? Yeah, or? I would be a, I would be a regular. I think, and pretty when we were almost finished filming, it dawned on me that I'm the villain. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, at a yes. certain point, I was like, oh, it's me. I'm oh, the I'm bad the, guy. <laughs> I'm the, wait, of everybody here. Hello. Yeah, I'm the, okay, it's me, which is kind of awesome. Very cool. And it was also probably good that I wasn't thinking about it that way, so okay. I wasn't doing like, yeah, you can't for, like, do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, uh, but that's, also kinda, that. that's also kind of cool. I never really get to be like, evil boss lady. I'm usually like the hysteric of the week. On, <laughs> on, like, <laughs> she screams when she sees think. a leap on yeah. the side. Yeah, we oh, all yeah. start, we'll start early. Right <laughs> which is, yeah, which is what uh, Sue found that. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. That's hilarious. It was from that interview that you and Jeremy yeah, yeah, did yeah. though, because you said something like, Google uh, leap, scream, something. Yeah. That. So I was like, yeah, I'll try that. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> 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 Which we are going to post with the uh, with the podcast. Awesome. Just <laughs> so 
Sweet. Awesome. Because Sue sent me the link. I'm like, that's totally going on the post. So and every time I describe it to people, they're like, oh, I oh, totally yeah. remember yeah. that commercial. I, described I think it it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and my I'm gosh. Like, I'm like, as soon as she, because I don't watch a lot of television anyway. I just watch everything mostly online. Yeah. As soon as she said, it's that one where the girl's walking down the street. She sees a leaf and she starts. I'm like, Oh my God, I know yeah, that it's like psycho <laughs> music <laughs> playing. Yeah. yeah, that was my first audition right out of school. That's and cool. Got it, and I was like, at one hand, it's like an day. amazing commercial because everybody knows it and it's funny, yeah. and it like I yeah. walk down the street now and see a leaf, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> winter's coming. But then I could not, for the life of me, remember what it was for. So yeah, like, yeah. in that sense, it sort of failed. But yeah, <laughs> otherwise, it's, it's like I upstaged it's the product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah, what? Yeah. Take that. <laughs> but yeah, so you did two episodes of the Dresden Files. I only did one. Okay. I know, it's on there. I yeah. was not in the pilot. I don't know what that is. Weird. Yeah, no, I only did this one. You only did the one. Huh. Where'd so you weird. go, IMDb? Yeah. Drop the ball. Mm -hmm. That's right. Which I haven't watched, I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched the Dresden Files. Oh gosh, that's okay. Neither yeah. have I. Okay, um. good. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on here that I haven't seen. Because, you know, I'm not sure it's really my thing. Based on the book by Jim Butcher, I know that. But look, you've done Shakespeare. True. <laughs> More than once. Yeah. Oh. How do you remember those lines? It's, they're easier to learn than um, than most uh, regular dialogue because it has it's there's a rhythm to it. And so you yeah. know when you've messed you can up. Rhyming couplets, yeah. you can. <laughs> yeah, but so there so there's a like it's gonna all have the right number of syllables and it it all um it's just easier because it's it's lyrical. So I find yeah, TV okay. dialogue. Impossible to learn. Really? It's like, because it, it, it's uh, often it tries so hard to be real. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> what, what, does that end? Like, what does that mean? Like, what, this is hard to remember because it's not, I don't know, I find that actually is, is a lot. Is oh, a yeah, lot well, don't easier. get me wrong. It's a beautiful language. And Hamlet, of course, is a story best play ever. But, uh, the shoe. Same with it. Nice. All right. There you go. I yeah. named my cat for that. Really? <laughs> I named your yeah. cat. Hamlet was always my favorite. Just, just guys. Yeah. I just like the ponies. I remember I had to do a. Uh, Much Ado about nothing. I loved Much Ado actually. That was another good one. Yeah. And um, yeah, Twelfth Night I like as well actually. Mm -hmm. And I had to do. A, now I just forgot the name of the play. It was like an early one. Never mind. It's not an important story. What is that? Do you remember the speech? No. I just remember there was a, a part, like there was this whole thing, and it was like every other line rhymed, but then somebody else had a line, and I was just supposed to speak as though they hadn't kind of thing oh. uh, when I was doing like my audition speech or yeah. whatever. So um, I just had to skip that and then say the next line, and I totally forgot what it was yeah. because uh, I didn't have anything yeah. to follow yes. it. And I was like, oh my god. And I had to like turn around and like think about it. And I'm like, okay. And I came back and then yeah, I went yeah. through it. But, oh. And my friend Daryl had been going through it with me like over and over and over the night before at McDonald's. And apparently he was out in the audience watching. Oh, no. And he kept like pointing at his butt because it's supposed to be butt to unruly deer. And he breaks the pail of these from home. See, I can remember it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just could not get the butt for the life of me yes. at that point. It's hilarious. And just like almost every other Toronto actor, which is amazing, and I, it's great that you did Flashpoint too. I did. Now, I'm about to go back and start rewatching them. Mm -hmm. So give me a rundown on your episode so I know what one to look for. It's <laughs> the one where they killed off one of the regular guys, oh. Mark. Okay, so that's like season two ish, I think. Yeah, it was a few yeah. years ago, but it was kind of an awful set to be on because. They were losing a regular cast member. Yeah. At the first read through, they, we finished the read and everybody burst into tears except like we except the guest guests. It was yeah. like it was like going with a friend to a funeral. Like it was like wow. it felt it was awful. And the whole time was like I'm not supposed to be here. I'm intruding on somebody else's like grief. It was so it. weird. Wow. It was so weird. <laughs> but I had done like a million flashpoint um, auditions where I kept going in for like kidnapped weather girls and I was like so not a kidnapped weather girl and then it was like they needed like this sort of angsty uh, troublemaker like university student who's gonna like help set some landmines and then I got that one nice cause I don't I'm not a kidnapped weather girl no <laughs> I was mostly happy that I didn't have to do any more Flashpoint auditions after that one. 
<laughs> yeah, because well, yeah, I guess after you've done one, you really can't yeah. do another one. Yeah, true. Yeah. They'll be like, hey, wasn't she Didn't murdered she? last week? Or yeah, something? exactly. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then you did a couple of shorts, uh, Happy Pills and the Reception. Mm-hmm. And one of them was... Happy Pills. Happy Pills was directed by Tanya Lemke. Yes. Who also wrote it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was part of um, a thing called Little Films About Big Moments. Oh. And it was produced by, and sort of conceived by Martha Burns. Okay. And, oh, cool. and, um, and they, uh, they let all these first time, like people who work in the industry but who haven't ever been able to be the primary storyteller, oh. make their short. So everybody had a day. <laughs> to like make their movie. That's awesome. Yeah. So, and I met I met Tanya on um, Othello. She was oh, nice. she was doing props, which she's doing which on Lost Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And still denying us an interview. Tanya, <laughs> yeah. come on, we need an interview. See, you have stuff to talk about. <laughs> Tanya. I did it. <laughs> it's not so bad. No. Call me. Peer pressure. <laughs> Do it. <Yeah>. Call me. <laughs> and of course, for us, the big defining moment. For you, yeah. for, for our perception of you, how's <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. As Paul Chappard, yeah. which was just, well, we saw it twice in the theater. That's so yeah. awesome. Yeah. And we just, the first time I think it was just, I want to say almost love at first sight. The yeah. film was just fantastic. I love it. Yeah. yeah, I love it so much. Yeah. And I won't lie, your character, when you first meet it, kind of scares me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I get the attraction. She's like, yeah, she's cute and she's, she's feisty, but man, she could kick my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then the second time through, after knowing all the dynamics already yeah. of the character, watching it with a whole different set of eyes, you get so much more out of it. And I'm like, okay, yeah. maybe she's not as bad as she seems. Yeah. Maybe most of it's a front for her fans, and then yeah. there's this other person behind that. So you yeah. want to talk yeah. a little bit about your experiences working with Jeremy or on the set in general? And, uh, and I had, how much fun was it? It was so much. It was <laughs> the most fun. It was, the, like, the, the, the most fun ever from the get-go. Um, and... Partly because Jeremy was really awesome, and he met with, I'm sure he met with everybody um, before we started, and really, uh, and I think that was partly because we were shooting in, like, five, yeah, 14 like days two, or something. Yeah, two yeah. Weeks, yeah. So, um, uh, but he really, it was so collaborative right from the start about, like, what, about the character and about, like, even wardrobe stuff, and, like, the, and I've never really worked in that sort of, like, outside in but I or <laughs> even to think about I never mm-hmm. really think I'm like whatever you want me to wear I'll wear it like <laughs> yeah. that's not my that's yeah. not my thing so this is the first time where I was like oh my god and I I think I think it should be I think it should be these tattoos and I think um, I hurt my vagina that was Jeremy <laughs> that was Jeremy um, but uh, so that that part was great and and because of because it being sort of mockumentary uh we would shoot it, it felt like we were shooting rehearsal, mm-hmm. and it felt like, because we'd get to the whole scene, and always just run the whole scene, it felt like, felt like doing theater, so yeah. it, nice. that's very comfortable yeah. for me, I don't generally love doing film and TV, like I don't um, really get off on it in the same way, like it doesn't, mm-hmm. it's kind of still, for me, it feels really stilted and kind of broken up. Yeah, well, it's a hurry up away. It's, yeah. it's totally, and I don't, and you're doing it in pieces, and it's not, and there's stuff in your eyeline, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't really like it. Sometimes it's awesome, and in this case, it was awesome. Right. Um, but it really, because it felt like, I didn't have to worry about continuity. Sometimes it would be like, we need, we need, to, I need to be able to cut when I, like, pass behind this thing, so yeah. maybe do that in the same, take a pause here every time. Right. But, that stuff was, it felt like we had so much freedom. And we were able to have so much input. And it and it really felt like we were all making the same movie, which also doesn't always work. <laughs> yeah. But when I saw it, it, that's totally what I thought we were making. Because sometimes that's you watch awesome. it okay, and it's yeah. like, what? When did that happen? <laughs> that's, oh God. But this, <clears throat> this felt like, like he stuck to his own script and it was exactly what I thought we were doing. Uh, which was really, really great. Uh, but it was fun, and it was, I mean, most of my stuff was with Chris, and he was also really great. That's what we've heard. Yeah, yeah was that was when uh, yeah. I said to Jeremy, those, those were some of my favorite scenes, was watching the dynamic between Sadie and uh, and Paul, be just because she never let him get away with anything. Yeah. But <laughs> at the same time, like, you could see the attraction between yeah. the two of them, because they just seemed like such good friends, yeah. and they got each other, which yeah. was a big thing. It was, it was really fun, and, and um, and Jeremy really 
encouraged me to also play with the the camera. Yeah. So that yeah. Was he was talking about the shooting yeah. the pool, yeah. the shooting pool scene. Yeah. <laughs> He gets in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was awesome. like, I don't think Chris got off his stool that whole no, scene. No, no, I was just like, good. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it was, uh, it was, it was fun, and I think I was only in for maybe three or four days. Might have been three. Yeah, that's, it's crazy. Yeah, that's what everybody was saying. And, and then one, you, I did one phone call. And you, and you didn't get, you <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show, I love that phone call. <laughs> I was thinking about it on the way here. I was at a I was at a friend's house like having a barbecue and they were shooting that scene and then I like, went up into their house and like would phone every time and then did that oh, from there. Yeah. That's awesome. I totally forgot that scene. Right? Oh, you mentioned it. Wow. Which needs to come out on DVD release soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although they've been pushing for it now. Have they mentioned to you that uh, about the uh, the commentary they want to do? They want to do yes. commentary. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> that would be priceless. Yeah. Because <laughs> for the most part, the three of you didn't actually get. To, or sorry, no. four. I didn't get to actually yeah. play with one another. I didn't on the see yeah. Zoe ever. <coughs> yeah. I saw Mary because she was in sometimes, like just being supportive and bringing like vegan muffins. <laughs> oh, I love Mary. She's so oh my God. awesome. And she, uh, her, I love her in this movie. Yeah. She's oh, my, yeah. she's she, my favorite. Yeah. She's so great. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I didn't see anybody. So it was kind of, it was so strange. It was that kind of they would talk about like girlfriend of the week because it kind of, it yeah. was like yeah. it was like they're making a different movie sort of every time. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, Jeremy told us that uh, the picture I think it's the back cover picture where you're giving the finger. Yeah. Is one of your own personal pictures. He took it off of Facebook. I think yeah. it was an election night photo. <laughs> That's I think awesome. it was. I think like it was like some sort of conservative majority or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what that was. And he was like, can I use this? And then it became the thing. That yeah. Totally but it was yeah, all yeah. from, I mean, I think we maybe could have made like an angrier one rather than using that exact photo. Possibly. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That's what that was, yeah. That just makes it better. <laughs> yeah. And you play a mean game of pool, as you said. Yeah. Or was that just a fluke? I think it was a bit of a fluke. Okay. <laughs> but I also wasn't really, I was just like sinking whatever I knew yeah. I could yeah. sink. It, I didn't have to get any particular stripe or solid. Yeah. So, but it did, I know, my, when my mom saw it for the first time, she was like, <laughs> she was, she, I think she stopped watching the scene and tried to watch how they like spliced that together to make it actually look like I knew how to play pool. <laughs> But I think that because it looked like they didn't splice it. No, yeah. they didn't. It they didn't. Like that really that is what shot. I'm. That is what I'm doing. But I. But that's. I don't think I can do that again. It was like. It was the near beer that we were drinking that just like loosened me up enough. Oh, fantastic! Oh, cannot wait for this movie to be on DVD. Yeah, it gets to the point where like because we saw it, I guess once each week that it was at the Carlton. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think didn't we see it and then we interviewed Jeremy and then we went back yeah. and got oh, to yeah. like. Yeah. Look, look for oh, stuff yeah. that we yeah, yeah, that's right, because you said, watch for this and watch for yeah. this. Yeah, because we watched Hop. <laughs> and then oh, there yeah. all the Hop yes. paintings on the wall. There's so and many. Right. And, the, yeah. and like when I, when I saw it the first time, all that sort of inside stuff. Yeah. That, and and that the, the twins' rooms were Jeremy and Anthony. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. the dildo shopping. <laughs> dildo shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Extravagant. Oh, and speaking of Hoff, I'm still waiting on that T-shirt. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right, Anthony. Um, <laughs> which oh yeah, it's just we had so much work for that. As, well, we both did top ten. Well, top five, I think, for you, and top ten. Yeah, it was like top year. five plus like yeah. seven <laughs> honorable <laughs> mentions <laughs> or something. <laughs> And yeah, it made both of our top yeah. five. Yeah. Wow. I think it was yeah, it was your number one. We just one. swapped, yeah. Yeah, and then Muppets, and then Muppets was my number one, and then I loved it. Park was, yeah. yeah. Muppets was really. I'm yeah. so happy to be second to the Muppets. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, it was, you made yeah. me really emotional. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really, it's really moving. Now, when you saw it, did you see it with like the right bunch of people? Because we went. I went I think, with my sister. Night, and there was nobody younger than like thirty. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was just. It was yeah. a very Gen X kind of crowd, yeah. and everybody just bought into it. Totally. Yeah. And yeah, I got teary. I got yeah. knows how many times. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was man, a oh suck. Man. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, gorgeous film. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is why it had to be just one higher than Paul Shepard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. totally fine. <laughs> Whereas Paul Shepard made me contact an ex. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So, wow. I was like, well, that yeah. sort of changed everything. Yeah. Yeah. 
so that's much. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I remember you doing that. Because I wrote a couple of books, so I sent her, I was like, I'd love you to have a copy of my book. Is it a really angry book of poetry? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like, it would all be either, I'd be so angry, just like, you suck. <laughs> yeah. The end. <laughs> the poetry that Jeremy put together was ridiculous. And all the... No, there are there are two other books of poetry that I don't know if they're in the movie. They might be just on shelves it's somewhere. Not, yeah, there's a couple on shelves that yeah. part of the one you're promoting. The and they're yeah. called Flesh Pillow. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is called Cock, and it's K O C K with like an yeah. love. Like. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm just making like <laughs> symbols in the air now. I have. I, they gave me copies. I was gonna ask. Yeah, I do have. You. They're like on a little shelf. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So I have. I have all of them. And I love the fans just like oh. hanging out. I could nodding. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at like keeping it together, but when they all would like give me the finger together or go like, <laughs> oh, I couldn't. I would like. <laughs> I would laugh. <laughs> It was awful. I think I ruined a lot of takes. And I was like, overnight, when everybody just wants to go home, they'd all do something hilarious, and I would... <laughs> well, that just brings to mind the one scene where you and Chris are talking, and the, the fan comes up to get the yeah. fan, and they go, yeah. this is my favorite poem, and yeah. this is why, and your teacher's a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So awesome. Are you sure that's what it's about? <laughs> yeah. My teacher says... <laughs> Happily, Jeremy is very happy with the fact that we're, I hate saying that word, that we're pimping it as much as we yeah, are. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> but, great. But yeah, we've got, uh, well, I've got fam, friends and family in Australia who are just clamoring to see this movie really? now because we've talked yeah. about it yeah. so much. And they're like, when's it coming out? Will we be able to be, buy the DVD? And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Email, email this guy. Here's his address. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, because we we didn't we didn't know what to expect at all. Of yeah. course, that's true. Yeah. And we went in because Chris and Zoe were in it, and we wanted to support yeah. them. And they were tweeting about it and stuff. So we're like, well, let's go, and yeah. then we can write about it on our yeah. blog, and everything will be cool. And then it was like, fuck, I loved that yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't stop thinking about it. It's like totally wow. changed my headspace, and I was like him at the end, where I was. Man, I've got to like mm -hmm. go back through some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In life. I've got to unpack the backpack. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. And then seeing it the second time was like even better in a way because mm. we had stuff to look for. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, it wasn't so much like just trying to see what's going to happen or whatever. Yeah. It was like yeah. you're spotting more pandas in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, like every little oh thing. God. But I think the, the important part for, for you guys is that now you've got fans now who are going to follow you from each project now, because we're yeah. going to, because now that we've seen you in Polish Park, yeah, we're going to be watching yeah. for the next thing yeah. we do, so, it's not a bad way, yeah. we're just, we're like, what, she's in this, we'll go watch this, yeah, yeah, so, yeah exactly, which is great, because it's just, it just opens yeah. up so much more, I mean, uh, it was the same with Mary, we had never, I'd yeah. never seen anything Mary had done before, yeah, so I won't lie, I almost fell in love with her on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> me too. And yeah, she was yeah, amazing. When, yeah, when I wrote great. the review, you know, literally the moment after I posted the review, Jeremy had read it and put it on Mary's page. Yeah. And just said, they call you luminous. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but now she it's like, is. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be following Mary's career. We just, you know, we're going to be following yours. Because we're just like, look at these amazing Canadian actors that we didn't know. Yeah. From, it's know. a pretty great cast. Like it's a they, fantastic. Yeah. It's really wonderful company to be in. Yeah. So if, yeah. if the opportunity presents itself, are you going to work with Jeremy again? Yes. All right. Hear that, Jeremy? Yes. <laughs> he knows. He totally knows. Okay, good. Yeah. Cause... <laughs> yeah. No, it was so fun. Oh, because he's one this. of those directors that you want to see work with, like, a regular stable of actors. Like, yeah. Uh, like yeah. the same way Michael McKean and everybody, you know, and Harry Shearer and Christopher Guest all work yeah. together all the time. Like, yeah. I want to kind of see that happen. Yeah, and yeah. Just, and I actually just yeah. want to sit and watch Jeremy work sometimes. Yeah. We, just watching him at the Q&A and, uh, and then talking to him after. I was like, I just want to sit and watch you go. Yeah. Like, well, watch you, like, when you're That's pretty much on. it. That's you know? kind of how, that's, yeah, like, that's, he, he doesn't have, like, <laughs> No, he's like in his director <laughs> mode. Like he's just Faster, Jeremy. More intense. Yeah, no, yeah. it's like you're still just hanging out with Jeremy. That's yeah, fine. yeah. Well, he did make sure he did say we were invited. That's so. true. That's true. Because oh, I had cool. that. I, yeah, I had that dream the other night. I was I was apparently in Jeremy's new movie. And he said, well, what was it about? I'm like, I don't remember. I was washing dishes. <laughs> yeah. I had a line of dialogue. You were there. <laughs> 
And I said, I just want to, and I said, I don't need to be in your movie. I just want to be invited for the set. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Awesome. Yeah, so that would be Did brilliant. you, because um, I remember when we were talking to Jeremy, people had, different people had read for different, did you just read uh, for Sadie? Or I, oh, didn't, yeah. I didn't read for Sadie at all, actually. I read for Lisa. Really? Yeah. And on the day that I was auditioning, they were casting Lisa and Haley. Okay. And so I read for Lisa and kind of read it once. And Jeremy was like, okay. And I, and I was, like, was like, I don't really have anything to, like, unless you want to. And I was like, no, I think I'm good. And then we left. And then my agent called me a little bit later and said that they were offering me. And I was like out in the street doing something. And they said they're offering you Sadie. And in my head. Because on the day they were only casting those two parts, I assumed that it was. I think I just forgot what the other character's name yeah. was. I knew she was the porn fluffer, and I was like, I don't think I'd be very good at that. Like, I don't. I just didn't feel like. I don't. I think they'd find somebody better. So I was like, I don't think I'd be very good. And so I kind of said no. I think. And then they like got back to my agent and was like, Is she? Is she sure? Like, can you make? Can we? Can you just ask her again? Could she just like? To read it over and and so I went back and looked at it and was like oh oh <laughs> no that I can do <laughs> that I have to do sorry <laughs> sorry maybe I should have looked at this before I was just like I don't think I um, so yeah so I didn't read for it at all I read for something I read for like the opposite part and then was like an idiot and almost turned it down because I just didn't check my names carefully. <laughs> That. Well, they had the I IE sort of sound at the end. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it was just like, and I just assumed it was the other one. Yeah. I don't even think I really listened to the name. It was just like, oh, it must have been that other part. And there'd be, like, somebody would be way better. So, the so they get the, yeah. the kind, golden wife, mother yeah. girl. Yeah. How about the angry one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's way more fun. <laughs> Which is true. Yeah. 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 And then right after, well, not right after that, because we jumped ahead to 2011 last year, you went out east for Republic of Doyle. I did. So, now I don't know exactly where that shoots. It shoots in uh, St. John's. Like, right in? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, because yeah. I thought it was maybe because, we know, we follow uh, Haven, which shoots. Oh, in Halifax-ish. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly, ish. Yeah. And I'm like, I recognize some of that, but I don't recognize all yeah. St. John's on the public of Doyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're right in and around there. Yeah. Okay, now I haven't seen yeah. your episode, so what happens? Without spoilers, because I don't want to spoil it. Uh, <laughs> I play the daughter of a um, a uh, like crab boat owner who um, uh, goes missing and is presumed dead, and she thinks there's something amiss, of course. and so gets the Doyles to check it out. This is a fun little show. It was great yeah. to work on. Yeah, I've really seen fun. I've seen two episodes so far, so I've got a lot to catch up on. But I've seen the, I've it seen was the fun, year. and I got like ten days in Newfoundland, and I'd oh. never been. And Ooh. it was all, and I always nice. just for whatever reason I always end up shooting in the mornings. So I'd shoot, would be up really early. I'd come back and take a nap around noon, and then I have the rest of the day with oh. my per diem to go and like eat amazing seafood nice. yes. and read a book yes. and have a glass of wine, and that's how I spent my time. Oh. It was. So great. That's it was really great. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is a good way to. It's yeah. not a bad way to work. Why not? It's a beautiful city. Cause that's yeah, and that's uh, they're in their fourth season. I think it is. They're doing really well. Yeah. 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 Them Flashpoint, Canadian television's uh, coming a long way. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, because I've been rewatching. <laughs> Degrassi. Knows, I'm rewatching Degrassi yeah. right now at home. And uh, that lasted like six years easy, and then they've done Beachcombers seem to be on for a long time. We were just talking about Beachcombers on the walk here, I kid you not. Really? Because Derek had this toque on, and Hanson's looking at him going, he looks like he's from Beachcombers. <laughs> and Derek's like, what the, what's Beachcombers? <laughs> <laughs> How Canadian are you? He's already after to Disney every yeah. Sunday. Uh, but yeah, but Canadian television lately is coming so, so far. I've been watching uh, Michael Tuesdays and Thursdays I've online. Seen the, I've seen the bits for that. Yeah. I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a I lot of this. Did you one. watch Slings and Arrows? No, but okay. I know it. Okay. Yeah. It's I love it, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of the same brains okay. behind this, and yeah. it's like it's so it's just so smart and um, and funny, and it's I love it. I love it. Oh, watch yeah. Slings and Arrows. Okay. And watch Michael two seasons. Okay. Don't think yep. I won't. Yep. Good, good. <laughs> so good. Because I will. Not on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. We'll track that right down. Yeah. 
But it's funny because I brought up Flashpoint first because my friend Amanda is just, she used to be a cop. Mm. So she's totally into all the cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, you got to watch this Flashpoint, you know, Flashpoint yeah. show. And I sent her the first season as a Christmas present. And she's like, oh my God, this is so good. Because mm. initially she was in Turkey Blue, which you've also done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this might actually help her get back into Rookie Blue. But yeah, you did that. So if you did it this year, or rather last year now. That's going to be, what, season three you're on now? Might be season two. I, I don't know. have no idea, yeah. to be honest. No. I think that must have been season yeah. two, or the very beginning. I shot that last September, because I did... I taped my audition from my hotel room when I was doing <laughs> Republic of Doyle <laughs> like, with the lamp and no reader. So it must have been September, wow. maybe? Last year? Yeah. That's cool. But I don't, I don't quite understand how the seasons line up. And then we shot, when I did Rookie Blue, I had, I had grown out my hair and it was sort of red because I had done a play all summer and it, I just hadn't got, like it, I just did a bunch of stuff and right. didn't have time to cut my hair. So I did it with particular hair. And then like two months later, I had cut off all my hair and it was blonde again and they were like, we need you for a reshoot day. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, uh, <laughs> I look really different. And so they had to like make a wig of my sort of like grown out sort of reddish hair that I'd had <laughs> when I, the episode, what, I was all distressed anyway, so it was okay, but it's like, did, can you let them know that I don't look like that? <laughs> it's three months at later, at all, <laughs> like at all, when I, saw it, you can, I can totally see that I'm wearing a wig in just the, sort of the ending of it. It's like, I mean, nobody else will notice, I'm sure, but. Well, now we're Good grief. Yeah. 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 Now like, we're looking for it. There it is. Yeah. So then in your spare time, you just arbitrarily start creating theater companies? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I haven't done, I haven't produced in, in a couple of years. I got a little bit burnt out. Yeah. Um, but I do... I can't imagine why. <laughs> it's like, yeah, good lord. But I, I also just got busy with other people paying me to do stuff. <laughs> so that was like, this is easier. Um, so, but yeah, I do, I do a lot of... Uh, I, I'm pretty lucky because I can go back and forth. And yeah. I do. I do about... I, I always say that I do more theater than I do film and TV, but I think that's not actually true anymore. Really? Um, I've done, I, it seems to be a bit of... It, it sort of it seems to be split kind of evenly. I'll do like two plays a year maybe, and then in between I feel like I do some. You were doing something just before Christmas, yeah. I think, right? When yeah. we first approached you. Yeah, yeah. I was doing a um, a workshop production of a play, which basically means you do a play but you only rehearse for two weeks, which was <laughs> oh, like Lord. it was terrifying <laughs> and very stressful. I had nightmares after for wow. like I haven't had those kind of show nightmares like after a show's over. Usually when it's running you'll have those, but not after. Um, yeah, actually I got, when I got back from shooting Borealis, I went right into rehearsal for that. And uh, yeah, so it's like... Now I'm gonna jump on this, because I wanna know, and if it's, if it's way too personal, call it. It's a show nightmare. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can tell you one. Yeah, <laughs> show, show, for, for this one, it's just like, like a nightmare where like it's, 7.50 and you're not at the theater yet because you forgot you had a show or like there was my, these nightmares because it was a workshop we or because the it, it was a workshop so the script sort of changed as we went and we didn't have a lot of rehearsal time so by the okay. time we were opening and it was a two-hander okay. and it's an hour long nobody gets to leave the stage <laughs> so you can't oh even collect your thoughts really and if and we were feeling quite unprepared and it, like we know it but if it goes really off the rails neither of us know this well oh enough God. to really be able to save it so it was just a very stressful thing and we would meet um, before like earlier in the day just to do a line run and so I'd have these nightmares afterwards where we had to do another and it was part of a sort of festival so we would do okay. a show and then not have a show for two days and then do a show so I would have these nightmares where we had to do another performance and I thought we were done so I forgot all my lines <laughs> or I couldn't reach Susan to do a line run or I suddenly have to do we're doing a line run and I have to do a show and it was like I don't I don't want to do I don't want to do this show I'm done this show <laughs> right now I would love to do the show again but this this part of it is done but I had like three or four dreams in like the two weeks following where I thought I had to do the show again and it was very 
<laughs> I'm not ready. Stressful. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. It was That's... like, but they're stressful. They're just stress. They're stress dreams. I had a dream that I had to go fill in for a member of a boy band. <laughs> I didn't know any of the songs it's scary. or the dance moves. And I'm like, these 11 year old girls are going to know I'm not the boy band member that they came to see. Yeah. I can't fool anyone. And they're like, just stay in the back, do what we do. And I'm like, this is not going to work. <laughs> and I can hear everybody, like the crowd getting all raucous because we weren't on stage yet. Uh, oh, it's scary. <laughs> they're scary. Because it's a very public humiliation if something goes wrong. Yeah. Apparently those ones where you go to school or work naked is uh, just like they're an random. insecurity thing. Yeah, they're random. Yeah. Which is weird considering my personality. Yeah. <laughs> weird. weird. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. So yeah, we've talked about Boreal. What do you have anything else coming up? Like any stage? Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, the Grand Theatre in London um, like in a couple of weeks. Across the pond no. or Ontario? Across <laughs> Ontario. Uh, to do uh, no. The Great Gatsby. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, Who are you playing? Daisy Buchanan. Nice. Yep. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I leave pretty soon and it, it's, it's like the end, I think mid-February to the beginning of March is oh, the run. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's going to be all, like, fun 20s and dresses costume, and exit. Yeah. Like, it's oh. good. I think my performance will mostly be all of my quick changes. <laughs> nice. I do I do mostly, like, indie theater. And so I get, like, a dress yeah. <laughs> that you wear in the show. And I went for a fitting. And they're building me, like, five or six amazing oh. dresses from the 20s. And one from, like, 1917, because there's kind of a flashback. It's like... Well, I feel like I'm at the big kids table. Like you're building these for me. This isn't like old things from Stratford that they don't want anymore. Yeah. Like, wow. and there's six of them. This is, that's all. Uh, I don't. I didn't think I was on stage that much. So I think it's my performance will be just mostly like twirling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just like go by dress. in the background. <laughs> Twirl. It'll be fine. Nobody's oh. gonna notice the acting. It's gonna be like, oh, what's she wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a job like that before. So it's it's all very ridiculous and exciting. That's a wow. Yeah. I think it'll be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And a great Gatsby. Yeah, yeah, so I think, aren't there, isn't there another movie coming out there like, is, later this year? Yeah, Baz Luhrmann did yes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just all about the Hunger Games at this point. Robert Redford. <laughs> I, ha I saw that a long time ago, but I don't want to. Yeah, oh no, don't want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no. But uh, yeah. I will probably when yeah. it's I'm just saying, Robert Redford. I know, yeah. Robert Redford. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. See, I would, I would go to London to see that. Yeah? I would. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's worth coming out to see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it will be beautiful. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. And apparently, I've never been to the theater, but it's supposed to be a gorgeous building. Nice. And a very nice, nice cool theater. Oh. And a lovely place to work, I've heard, so mm -hmm. I look forward to it. Well, yeah, and what, do you know how long the run is yet, or is Yeah, it... it's go, it goes until March oh, that's right. 3rd, I think. Sorry, it's, yeah. like, it's like February 14th to March 3rd so or something. Yeah. yeah, three weeks. That's all right, yeah. yeah. Three weeks in London? And... Yeah, well, I rehearsed for, so I, it's six weeks in London, <laughs> all told, in the dead of winter. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the longest nine-minute walk <laughs> of my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just no. think of the dress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> think of the dresses. <laughs> but then you might get tired of those too, because I'm trying to. Okay, yeah, because if if it's definitely era, then they've probably got to cinch you into those. And... No, they don't. Really? Well, no, because it's like everything just hangs. Oh, so, okay. so they're actually like binding me a little bit, which is the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I go to like do one of these TV things, and they come in with this like really padded bra, and uh, I'm like, wow. Well, I don't look like that. <laughs> Nobody looks like that. So this, when they put the like sort of binder on me and no, no corset or anything, and everything just sort of falls. Wow. That's the. Everybody looks like it, everything just hung. So it's yeah. actually like wow. great. There's no corsets. I've done. I've done corsets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As great as they look, I just I feel nothing but sympathy and empathy. For oh man, I wore I did um, Romeo and Juliet outside oh. in the I did the in the summer in High Park in the summer oh, nice. and I was in a corset and every night I would take it off and I'd have like a sweat print of <laughs> a corset on my on like the shirt that it was on top of. It's like <laughs> this is so <awful. laughs> Not right. So and the thing with corsets if they're not tight enough they're actually worse because they like move and they uh, sort of they so it's like mm. you kind of need them to be tight 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As she shakes her head. Yeah. yeah. She's the one. And then Jeremy, hurry up and write the next script. And yeah. Christine in there. He's probably and... written like five. I know. She's yeah. deciding yeah. on what he wants to do. Well, he and yeah. Anthony apparently he were pitching something to somebody at some point. So. They've got stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me very upset how talented he is. Yeah. But oh. And he's so young. I know. What well, you should talk. <laughs> well, but. I mean, if this is Logan's run, you would just be a carousel now, I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying. Christine went out for, for a lost girl audition. She... I did. So, so how did that go? What uh, did you do? I, uh, I, was, I had a callback for the same uh, part that, that uh, Zoe Palmer now has. <laughs> and um, she was, uh, we were at the same callback, and she went in just before me. And then she came out, and when I was, they called me, and I got up to go in, and then somebody ran out. <laughs> Some important person in the room <laughs> ran out <laughs> and wanted to see Zoe Palmer again. <laughs> and so they uh, brought her back, and I had to sort of sit down, <laughs> totally rejected. And then they let her come out, and then I went in after knowing that like they wanted to see Zoe twice. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and I'd heard that it was because when I went in, they were sort of like, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. <laughs> but it was because I think somebody who had gone in just before Zoe had chosen to do it with an English accent. And so as uh -huh. Zoe was leaving, they wanted her to, I think they wanted to bring her back in to like hear her do it with an accent. Because uh -huh. she's, I believe she was born in England, I think. I think actually, yeah. I think she was. Um, so uh, anyway, it just did not, uh, I knew that this was not going to go well. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you want her. Why am I here? <laughs> Why am I really stressed out right now? <laughs> That's okay. That leaves you wide open though to come back in like season three when they True. start. So True. We can make that happen. We'll get Mary on there. We'll get Christine on there. We should go in together. We should. Mary and I should do the same oh episode. God. How awesome would that, that be would though? Be very <laughs> can you imagine? Have you and Mary in the same episode? I would just sit and written, giggle. Have it written by Jeremy. Yep. Yeah. Written and directed by. Yeah. yeah. And we'll only be in scenes with Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly Lauren just gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> she has like two other little doctor sidekicks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already walking around with clipboards and lab coats. Classes. Okay, see, that's just cute. <laughs> I totally want that. Let's do pitch that. it. <laughs> Jeremy, pitch that for us, will you? Rick, I was going to say you could totally be Faye, but yeah, now, now she needs like... Well, the, who's that? Um, oh my god, we were talking to somebody about... So no, they were saying that about Mary, that should be a perfect little elf. <laughs> but you, you I could totally work the elf I get, too. Yeah, yeah. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. You would have been big in Lord of the Rings. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is awesome. Alright, so why don't we call it a night there? And we can cut all that together. So once again, <laughs> we had Christine Horn joining us this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. And across from me, as always, the awesome Sue Maynard. That would be me. That would be you. And I am Tim Reddick, saying good night for the Mind Reels. A career can rest on a trifle like, like us sitting here tonight. Or it can turn on somebody saying to you, you're better than that. You're better than you know.